Hi, so this week we have been learning about all different animals, safari animals. Um, I found a book which I really like called The Hipponotamus. Hipponotamus. Hmm, not a hippopotamus. He, I don't think he wants to be a hippopotamus. Hmm, so you'll see what he does. This is the story of Portly. Let me just turn you around a tiny bit. There we go. Portly was a very young hippopotamus. He didn't ask to be a hippopotamus. He was just born that way and he wasn't sure he wanted to be one forever. Hippos stood up to their eyes in water all day and they ate boring old grass all day. What sort of a life was that? Hmm, there's all his family. And he's there thinking, well, I don't know if that's what I want to do forever. Well, one day, Portly said to his mum and dad, I've been a hippo for long enough and now I want to be something else. Impossible, said his dad, shaking his head. You're a hippopotamus and that is the way it is, said his mum. But Portly was a very stubborn hippo. We'll see about that, he said and stomped off. It's time for me to be something more interesting and to eat stuff with a bit more taste, he called back. Well, Portly hadn't gone far when he met a herd of animals. More hippos, he thought. But as he got closer, he saw they had big spikes where their nose should be. Mm, you could do a lot of, well tossing stuff about with spikes like that, he thought. Yeah, look, do you know what they are? Excuse me, Portly said politely to the nearest animal. What sort of a person are you? Oh, I'm a rhinoceros, said the animal through a mouth of twigs. Well, I'm going to be a rhino thingy too, said Portly. But first I need some spikes. Where did you get yours? The rhinoceros laughed. You could say I got my horns from my mother. Oh, does she have any more? Asked Portly. No, said the rhino. You have to grow your own. We'll see about that, said the little hippo. Portly found two pieces of wood and sharpened them until they were pointed like horns. Look. <laughs> he tied them on his nose, but then he couldn't see properly. He tied them to the side of his head. He tied them to the top of his head. He tied them underneath his chin. They just didn't look right. He turned around to ask for some advice, but the rhinos had gone. So Portly carried on his journey with the horns sticking out just anywhere. <laughs> Before long, Portly saw a strange animal hanging upside down in a tree. What that could that be? I'm not going to show you. What could be hanging upside down in a tree? Any ideas? A bat. <laughs> uh, that looks fun. Excuse me, he said. What sort of a person are you? Mm, I'm a bat, I think, said the creature. And you are? I'm a Hipponosaurus. Can you see what he's done? He's hippo and rhinoceros, hipponosaurus. Uh, actually, said Portly, what do bats do then? Well, the bat took ages to answer. Eat stuff, hang out. Not easy being a bat, he added. We'll see about that, said Portly. He made some hooks out of bananas and tied them to his feet and carefully he climbed into the tree and then hung upside down. Now what? he asked. Now, said the bat, we wait. For what? Portly wanted to know. Well, the bat thought hard. Wednesday, he said. So Portly settled down to wait for Wednesday. <laughs> oh dear. But after five minutes, I was going to say, look, I'm not sure banana hooks holding you onto a tree is actually going to be very safe, is it? And after five minutes, the banana slipped and he fell out of the tree. That's when Portly decided that five minutes was just about the right amount of time to be a bat. So he's got his rhino horns and now he's got his bat feet. 
A little later, Portly found a water hole. Standing in it was an enormous animal. Excuse me, Portly said. What sort of a person are you? I'm an elephant, said the animal. What, may I ask, are you? I'm a hippobatanosaurus. And I'm going to be an elephant too, announced Portly. I want to spit water out of my nose. I want to smell something when I'm here and my nose is somewhere else. So I'll want one of those tube things and I'll want some big flappy ears. And well, the elephant had to smile. Steady on, young Hippobatanosaurus. You have to be born with those things. And Paulie was determined. We'll see about that. Well, Portly made some big ears out of two large leaves and then he made a trunk out of a vine. But what could he do with it? He wanted to trumpet tunes and pluck leaves and spit with it. But he couldn't. The, his journey was slow. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a bit down here. So Portly decided to find someone else he could be. His journey was slow because his horns fell over his eyes and his hooks caught in bushes. He kept tripping over his trunk and his ears flapped about all over the place. By now, Portly was getting a bit bored with excitement and he kept thinking about water for some reason. Gosh, he does look a mess, doesn't he? All muddled up with bits of animals. Portly hadn't gone far when he met some new animals. Well, they started on the ground like you and me, but they ended up above the trees. Excuse me, said Portly to a knobbly knee. What sort of person are you? Well, I'm a giraffe, it said. What do giraffes do? Called the little hippo. Eat trees mainly, said the giraffe. Can... Hippo elibatanosauruses eat trees, Portly inquired. Yeah, I should think Hippo elibatanosauruses could eat anything, replied the giraffe. Then I will be a giraffe, said Portly. But it takes years to grow all the way up here, exclaimed the giraffe. Yeah, we'll see about that, said Portly. So he's got to find a way now to get tall as well. Oh, <laughs> this is not going to work well. Portly made two stilts out of branches and strapped them to his legs but it was hard being so high up look help was well, easy oh 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 help crash portly was now hot and as hungry as a hippo can be I know just what I need, he thought, and Portly started out on the long trail that led back to the river. That's a nice picture, isn't it? He can see a really long way now that he's up on those big high stilts, but he does look a bit sad. Portly's mum and dad were standing up to their eyes in water when they saw their son. Excuse me, said Mum, knowing who it was, but not letting on. What sort of a person are you? Oh, well, I am a hippo, Jirelli Batanosaurus, Portly said proudly. Well, are you hungry? asked Mum kindly. I'm afraid we only have boring old grass for supper. Do hippo Jirelli Batanosauruses eat boring old grass? As a matter of fact, said Portly, they like it more than anything. Well, then come and join us, said Dad. So the young hippopotamus removed his stilts and slid into the river. The water felt wonderful and the boring old grass tasted better than ever. He didn't notice his ears float away, his trunk sinking and his hooks and horns falling off. Mum smiled at Portly. Our own little hippo doesn't want to be a hippo anymore, so there's plenty of room for you if you'd like to stay. Hmm, said Portly, looking up at some nearby monkeys and wondering what it would be like to swing from tree to tree from his tail. Yeah, we'll see about that. What an adventure he went on. So he ended up being a hippo again after all, but who knows? He might go and try and learn how to be a monkey next. The hippo-notamus. See you next time.